movie theaters, hmm. offices, holiday parties, concerts, nightclubs, churches, colleges, high schools, elementary schools. These should all be places where we feel safe and can live our lives free of the threat of mass death and destruction. Doesn't seem like a lot to ask, but unfortunately they are not. The sad, tragic, and incredibly avoidable truth is that each of these places has been the site of a horrible mass shooting that has taken our friends, loved ones, neighbors, and yes, in so many painful instances, our children. And each time, key policymakers who have the power and the authority to make a difference, specifically Congress, have failed to act. Unfortunately, I know what the parents at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School are going through. As I, as I lost my daughter in a rampage shooting in 2001, Laura was, was just a bit older than those students. She was 19, bright and beautiful, when she was killed by a man with severe untreated mental illness in Nevada County, California, where I live. When she was shot four times at point blank range and died instantly. When the shooting ended, three people lay dead, three were injured, and a community was left shaken. So I know what those parents are going through. I know that they are in shock. Their lives are turned upside down. And when that shock wears off and they face reality, that's when it really hurts. The worst is yet to come for them. I'm also sad that there was very little notice that day of the number of people who died by suicide. Over half the gun deaths in California are, are by suicide, uh, almost two-thirds nationwide. And I'm also sad that that Valentine's Day shooting came on the heels of a shooting spree in Fresno, of five separate shootings where seven people were, in the, were ho uh, hospitalized. And most of us didn't hear anything about that. All lives matter. Of course we need to keep our schools safe. Parents and students should not, and teachers should not have to be <laughs> worried about being shot down in school. When I first got elected in 2012, over five years ago, I came into the office, into this building with our nation, collectively reeling from the mass shootings at Sandy Hook Elementary School, where literally our children, our babies, were senselessly slaughtered. Mm -hmm. Congress failed to act. Since then, we've come together and mourned mass shooting after mass shooting. It's brought us together on, on too many occasions. Thoughts and prayers without more are not enough. Action is required. It's not time to wait and see and then run out the clock and do nothing, as has happened so many times before. Again, it's time to act meaningfully, boldly, aggressively.